All right, good afternoon, everyone. Just gonna wait for a few more people to get into their seats. All right, uh, my name is Stephanie Corret, and I'm the placement manager here at Guiding Eyes. I have had the pleasure of overseeing this wonderful class that's sitting here in front of you today. Uh, I would really like to welcome everybody for being here both in person and on Zoom. I know it's a beautiful Friday afternoon, but you guys chose to spend it with us, so we thank you for that. We are very excited to celebrate the five residential class teams that you see sitting before you today, as well as three more teams that are graduating via a home training in their home areas. It's a nice total of eight brand new guide dog teams, so very exciting. Uh, this particular class has accomplished quite a bit in the past two weeks. Uh, they've worked everywhere from White Plains to Yorktown, Mount Kisco, FDR Park, the local mall, and probably a few other places in between that I'm forgetting. And in that time, they have covered quite a bit of ground with their new partners by their side. We are so excited to see what the future holds for all of these teams. I do want to take a quick moment to thank the three instructors for this class. Uh, we have Shannon, Michelle, and Sam, who worked very hard to create these beautiful teams in front of you today. And I also would like to acknowledge the hard work and dedication of our regional guide dog mobility instructors, Melissa, Mike, and Melinda, who trained our three teams at home. Thank you guys so much for everything that you do. And with that being said, I'm going to pass the mic to Rebecca Cross, who is our Director of Donor Relations. Thank you, Stephanie. Uh, yes, I'm Director of Donor Relations here at Guiding Eyes with my own beautiful Black Lab uh, guide dog, Regal, laying right at my side. And I just wanted to congratulate again all of our amazing graduates and their amazing guide dogs for this journey and excited to see you start on your new adventures together. Um, thank you to everybody who makes each one of these dogs possible. We know it's a huge community of individuals uh, from volunteer, puppy raisers, sitters, socializers, staff uh, in all levels and of course our amazing donors who make it all possible through your generous financial support um, as a charity of course we are completely run on donations and uh, all these dogs are free to those who receive them so I did want to uh, recognize a couple of dogs who have been named by generous donations from a couple of our donors they actually happen to be dogs that are graduating at home so they're not in person but we want to recognize them and and uh, their special names. So this is a really cute story because these two dogs are actually um, named by the same family, but in a different way. So Kate was special named by Ruth Sidorowitz in honor of her daughter, Katie Craven. Uh, Ruth and her family raised a puppy many years ago and they just love guiding eyes and are continuing to support in this way. Uh, similarly, Ruth, uh, who is also graduating in, by home training was special named in honor of Ruth Sidorowitz <laughs> by all of her children, Jim, Patty, Melissa, Woody, and Katie. And uh, they named this dog for her uh, as a Christmas present a few years ago. And it just really beautiful how it all came together. And nice little fun fact, I've heard that Ruth is affectionately called Ruthie by her graduate, and so is our Ruth, who she's named after. So you can't beat that. Um, but with all of that being said, thank you again, and I'm going to hand it off to Jessica Walsh to recognize our puppy raisers. Thank you, Rebecca. My name is Jessica Walsh. I'm a regional puppy specialist of the East Regions. I help with data entry and um, help the RPIs of the East, East Regions. As I've been meeting more and more raisers at our in-person IFT and graduation and learning more about your raising journeys, one thing is clear is that you're all so passionate and dedicated and caring. I want to start by thanking each of our puppy raisers for finding the time, getting through those late nights and long days with the puppy raise and for countless hours of training, along with the patience and dedication that helped to lead to this very moment. There's a little saying that a little progress each day adds up to big results. And today is proof of that. The road wasn't always an easy run, but you made, a, made sure that the pup was loved and cared for while each day you practiced obedience commands like walking politely on leash. You took your pup to the grocery store or the post office or to work where it learned to greet people nicely and get comfortable in completely new situations. Then you went to puppy class to continue to build all of those skills. 
Each day you made a little progress that helped the pup grow into a confident dog and helped to build a strong foundation, which add up to the big result, which has brought us here today. Now the puppy you raise is about to embark on the exciting new journey with their new partner and to together they will make a little progress each day. Thank you again for your commitment to puppy raising. We would never be able to make the impact of the lives of so many people, people including the ones here today, without your persistence, heart, and dedication. When I call your name, please meet the staff member um, to get your razor certificate. Um, I would like to recognize the raisers who could be here today. Um, the Heberkamp family for Forbes. Um, Anne Helbert Berrien um, for Kate. Um, Leo Indalo for Quantum. Ashley Shepis for Watkins. Sarah Zegler for Watkins. And the Jaycox family for Watson. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank the raisers who could not join us today. If you could hold your applause to the end. Um, Jeff Angle for Ezra, Janine Jambarski for Idaho, and Lynn Sauce for Watkins. Thank you all once again. And now I'd like to introduce Michelle Tang, who will introduce our graduates. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the August 16th graduating class. I am Michelle Tang. I'm a placement specialist. Uh, this last two weeks, I've worked with my partner, Shannon Deer, Sam Ori, and Stephanie Corette uh, to um, work with these five teams in front of you. Uh, there is a theme in this class. I don't know if anybody noticed, but every dog in this class is a black lab male. So we planned that. That was, I'm just kidding. That was not planned, but <laughs> it's cute and it's fun. All right, so please welcome um, on my left is Randy in Idaho. Randy Demetro is from DeSoto, Texas, and Idaho is his fourth guide dog. Randy has been working with Guiding Eyes Dogs since 2007. At home, Randy works alongside his son as an assistive technology trainer. He is also on staff at his church as the executive pastor. I didn't know that until today, Randy. Randy loves hiking and is looking forward to having Idaho with him on his adventures. Idaho was trained by Lori Bussey, Mick Billia, Mary Beth Totaro, and Ben Colley. Oh, oh, woo! <laughs> Next to Randy, we have Lucas and Watson. Lucas Rice has come to Guiding Eyes for his first guide dog. He is from West Ellis, Wisconsin. Lucas works full time as a customer service representative for Industries for the Blind. He enjoys working out at his local gym and also practices martial art. I also didn't know that until today, Lucas. <laughs> Lucas has enjoyed his time here in class and is looking forward to gaining more independence at home with Watson by his side. Lucas is also a part of our running guides program and he's looking forward to doing some runs at home with Watson as well. Watson was trained by Alyssa David, Lori Bussey, Amy DiPaolo, and Izzy Dolesky. <clears throat> Next to Lucas, we have Linda Hughes and Watkins. Yes, they are brothers, Watson and Watkins. Linda has returned to Guiding Eyes from Whitman, Massachusetts. This is her second guide dog. Linda um, is excited to go out and about in her neighborhood with her new travel buddy. When Watkins gets home, he will get to meet his new best friend and Linda's retired guide, Yanni. Watkins was trained by Chelsea Nowen, Amy DiPaolo, Ali Greenberg, and Shannon Walsh. <laughs> Next to Linda, we have Alan Mursak from Davie, Florida, who has received his first guide dog, a black lab named Forbes. Alan maintains an active lifestyle, <laughs> yes. frequenting his local JCC and going for walks around his condo complex. Alan has had smaller pet dogs before, but never a dog as large as Forbes. <laughs> Alan looks forward to the companionship and love he will receive from Forbes and knows Forbes will help him continue to stay active and get him out walking every day. Forbes was trained by Mary Beth Totaro, Alyssa David, Lori Bussey, and Shannon Walsh. And last, we have Anthony and Quantum. Anthony, your last name is Baraba? Okay. 
has come to Guiding Eyes from Satellite Beach, Florida to receive his first guide dog. Anthony has been matched with Quantum, a male black lab. Anthony and Quantum have a few trips to Illinois planned for the summer, so these guys will be hitting the ground running. At home, Anthony is looking forward to taking early morning walks in the park and going to the beach with his boy. Anthony is excited to get home and introduce Quantum to his family and friends. Quantum was trained by Aaron Murphy, Chrissy Vetrano, and Mike Seglio. A few more. In addition to the five teams in front of you, I'm, I'm also going to acknowledge our three home training teams. Linda K. Drake is receiving her third guide dog from Guiding Eyes, a black and tan German Shepherd named Kate. Linda Kay lives in Bonnie Lake, Washington, the foothills of majestic Mount Rainier. Her future endeavors with Kate include church activities, a crochet group, and a blind knitting group. Linda Kay looks forward to getting her independence and confidence back with Kate by her side. Linda Kay was home trained by Melinda Engstrom, and Kate was trained by Millie Lazo and Ben Colley. <laughs> Laura Ann Nino is receiving her third guide dog, a female yellow lab named Ruth. Laura Ann still works part-time as a psychologist and also provides volunteer counseling for Braille Institute clients. She was born and raised in Honolulu, Hawaii, and has been in Southern California for over 30 years with her family. She visits Hawaii often. Laura Ann enjoys arts and crafts as hobbies. She looks forward to maintaining her independence with Ruth and going on lots of new adventures. Laura Ann enjoys traveling all over the world. Ruth was trained by Mary Beth Totaro and Ellen Purcell, and this team was home trained by Melissa Smith. <laughs> All right, last but not least, we have um, our last home training team named Carol Paris, and she received her fourth black lab from Guiding Eyes, <clears throat> a male named Ezra. Carol has been working with guide dogs since 1990 and is no stranger to the independence a guide dog can offer her. Carol looks forward to working Ezra all around her apartment complex and shopping at her local stores. Carol and Ezra were home trained by Mike Goring, and Ezra was trained by Chrissy Vetrano. Uh, and now I'm going to pass the mic over to our graduates, and Lucas is going to be our first speaker. Hello, all. Uh, so, as I said, my name is Lucas Rice, and this is actually my first guide dog and I just want to uh, give a few thanks. Uh, it's going to be very short. Uh, so first I want to thank all the trainers. Uh, last week at the beginning it was very exhausting, you know, new information and then you have to apply it, uh, be sure that you apply it, and uh, which I believe I did. And uh, it, it's definitely uh, very rewarding. Uh, and uh, also want to thank the puppy raises. I can't even imagine what it's like to take home a little pup and know that you're going to get attached and then you're going to have to let it go. I, I can't even imagine what that's like. And honestly, I don't like to imagine it. So I really want to say thank you to that. And finally, I just want to thank the whole Guiding Eyes program for uh, you know, uh, training Watson for all these months, uh, even, you know, planning it in years in advance and then allowing me the pleasure of taking him home and, uh, and you know, and going on our little adventures, uh, you know, it guarantees, you know, safety, it, it guarantees uh, uh, more proficient proficiency and like moving around and traveling. Uh, so I just want to say thank you for everything and everyone who was involved in it. Hello, I'm Randy, and I'm in work in the assistive technology industry. And in that world, um, many of the blind people are referred to as VIP, very important person. But in my eyes, guiding eyes are VSP, and VSP are very special people. And I consider everyone in the organization of guiding eyes for the blind to be very very special people to just to do what y'all do and i had the privilege of meeting my uh previous um, 
puppy raiser last Sunday. We have been in communication through email. She sent uh, birthday gifts every year to my puppy or my dog, I guess you should say. And, uh, and so we had built a really good relationship, but just to get to meet them in person this last Sunday was very special. And we really had a great time together and we shared stories about our dog. And uh, it was a, I consider them an extension to my family. And then last night I've got to meet the puppy raiser to Idaho. And she is on staff at GEB. She is a puppy raiser instructor uh, down in the Maryland area. And, so I got to spend a lot of time with her on the phone last night. And one of the things she mentioned was that if you get down on the floor, Idaho will come up and give you a bear hug. <laughs> and so after I got off the phone with her, I decided to see if it would work. And so I sat down on the floor, on, sat down on the floor and Idaho came and he came right outside to put his two feet right between my legs and his chest was just leaning on my chest, pushing me back. He took his head and turned it and set it right down on my shoulder and just like a hug. And, and I said, you know what? Me and you are gonna be all right, Idaho. <laughs> I like that a lot. And, uh, and so it, we're gonna be a great team. And, some of the, so I just want to say to all you puppy raisers, you are very, very special people to, can, to give up your time, energy. I know that you meet weekly and sometimes twice a week and just to, everything that y'all go through to, so that we could have these dogs. Uh, so you are very special people. And then I also want to mention some other special uh, VSPs in, in my life. When I came in 2007, that was the first time I came to GSB, GEB. And Miranda, is she here? Uh, she's probably out. So, and so Miranda was my class supervisor that first year. And uh, we, you know, we had 28 days, instead of two weeks, we were here 28 days. So, we really spent a lot of time together, but my dog, uh, Linus was his name with, you know, how at first you guys, you know, this, that the dog will want to greet people. So they, they go forward. Well, Linus, not only did he want to greet people, he wanted to jump on them. He'd jump on top of them. And so here I am, you know, as a pastor of a church thinking, this is not going to work. You know, the dog jumping up on people that will be running for me. And so Miranda said, we'll get this fixed, don't worry. And so she worked with me on the side and she began to, to break that in her. And I, would, I remember just being totally in, amazed the, how she was able to do that, you know, to get him to not jump up on people. And so she uh, instilled in me, she put a foundation in me that said, I'm going to be the very best uh, dog handler that I can be. I want to be that good. And so that has been carried over into my life. So then the second time I came uh, to GEB, uh, Thomas Paddock, he was just becoming our the new president of GEB. And he, he came in on our class and he, he sat in and and because me and him both have RP, we, we were able to share stories together. And uh, I remember one of the statements he made, he said, boy, I sure wish we could have a running guide dog. And so here we are in 2024 and we have a running guide uh, dog program. And so I know that came from his heart. And uh, so, yeah, then that year, I want to thank, you know, Nikki Wentz, she was my personal trainer, and Shannon over here, she was uh, just come in as new, she was a young 22-year-old, <laughs> and uh, she was just getting started, and here she is, uh, part of my class this year, and I, 
especially want to thank Michelle. She was a great trainer with me, working with me throughout this week. And you're amazing. All of you are. And, and uh, got to meet Lori. Uh, well, Lori, I got to see her again. She she was in my first class in 2007. And what I'm amazed is now all of you guys have been here 25, 30 years. You know, you you stay with it. You stay with the program. And so that's a good testament to the organization of GEB. And so I am, I am very, very proud of this organization and uh, and what y'all represent. And so I want to end with a story, but before I tell the story, I want to just uh, kind of say something to our graduate class. You know, there's been a lot you already heard how much has been put into these dogs and and then how much information as you already mentioned uh lucas how much information was put into you and so it's our responsibility to take all of this home with us and put it into practice and practice these things every day even if you don't have something planned for that day get out and work your dog the worst thing that we could do, I actually think it would be a disgrace to GEB if we get our dogs home and all we do is just sit at home and we don't get them out and work them. So I want to really encourage you. These dogs can be exceptional. There already are, but they're going to have to, you're going to have to keep pushing them forward. So I want to just encourage you to, to do that. You are a representative of GEB and when I, I want them to be very proud of us as a team when they see us working together and other when we're out in the public they meet us and so I want to end with this story it was has to do with my last guide dog Casper and uh, we I was going to meet with a a very important person down in Dallas he told me to meet him on the fifth floor it's a really fancy office building he told me to come up the stairs to the second floor and then take an elevator up to the fifth floor. So we got there and me and Casper walked up the stairs and to the second floor and I, I told my dog to the elevator and he began to look for that elevator. And as we were going down the hall, we went all the way around and come back and we still hadn't found the elevator. And I, the dog was beginning to sense my frustration. And the more he sensed my frustration, the harder he worked. He turned to look down one way, turned to look down another way, and he would just start looking and looking. And finally, a man came out of a double door and he saw the elevator behind those double doors. He took me right up to the other, those double doors and we got in to the elevator. And when we got into the elevator, I just felt this relief, uh, a big sigh. And uh, he just started jumping up and down. His tail was wagging and he said, we did it, we did it, we found it, you know? And that's an experience that you get to have with a, with a guide dog. A cane will never do that for you. And just to know that you have a dog there working with you to get through uh, life's struggles. You know, the truth is, we all have struggles in our lives. Some of us be, may have some marriage problems. Some of us may have some financial difficulties. Some of us may be facing loneliness, depression. The list can go on and on. So no matter what your struggles are, I have found that Jesus is the answer. So I encourage you to get, just get your Bible and just find out who Jesus is. And uh, he will be your best friend and he will begin to help you through any struggles that you may have. So I want to end with just, again, I can't say enough. Thank you. Thank you. You are very special people. Amen. God bless you. Okay, I'm going to pass it over to Linda Kay. Can you all hear me? Yes, we can. All righty. Well, before I start my speech, I truly have missed 
being in class and meeting all the classmates. So I hope after we all get home, um, I can get a chance to meet all of you. But here, here goes, greetings to everyone. My name is Linda K. Drake. I have had two previous guide dogs from Guiding Eyes. One was a long-haired shepherd and one was a yellow lab. I made my application for number three, March of 22. In the interim, I have been accompanied by my trusty buddy, Slim. And for those of you who don't know Slim, he was my tall, skinny walking partner, partner better known as my white cane. As time whittled away, I was so looking forward, um, looking forward to the almighty phone call informing me that Guiding Eyes has found my match. I remember that day so well when I found out my next guide would be a smaller female German Shepherd named Kate. I was beyond words, but remember, good things do come to those who wait. Wednesday, August 7th was the day she was to arrive at SeaTac International Airport at 10.30 a.m. Well, that didn't happen. Hurricane Debbie had other plans. After a few canceled flights, her and her flying human arrived at 5.30 p.m. And she arrived at my home with trainer Melinda Engstrom at 6.30 p.m. Kate came right to me, and we have built the most remarkable bond in just nine short days. Kate will be attending church with me, a crochet group, which I lead, and a blind knitting group. I'm also going to be getting back into my volunteer work again. I am a picture-aholic, and I have been sending our daily pictures to her puppy raiser, Ann Halburian, during the week of text messages back and forth, Ann said to me, thank you so much, Linda Kay, for including me in your adventures. On that note, I would like to give a huge heartfelt thanks to, guide, to the Guiding Eyes family for making it possible for Kate to be raised by Anne. And I think it, it is appropriate to thank Anne for raising a phenom phenomenal guide dog that I can share our journeys with. Thank you, Guiding Eyes, from the kennel staff the training staff, and then on to Anne. My independence and my confidence has been given back to me. Good luck to my fellow classmates and their new set of eyes with four feet. That's my speech, and I loved hearing um, the pastor's um, stories. Something happened today. It was my last, my last trip with uh, my trainer, Melinda, and we were out getting um, some beautiful photos of Kate in a beautiful nursery. Well, I love flowers and I love waterfalls. Well, at this particular nursery, we found the waterfall and it had a gorgeous bridge that went over and there was a koi pond um, on one side of the bridge. Melinda had gotten Kate all settled on the bridge and I was getting ready to snap a couple pictures and Melinda took a couple steps back and thank goodness she's so quick on her feet because Kate had other ideas. She wanted to get in the water and explore what was in the water, um, but all was good. She didn't get wet. She didn't, she did not get in the water. So that's just one of my many stories. And again, my classmates, I hope I can meet each and every one of you because I am on Facebook. My life is on Facebook and my new journeys with Kate will be on Facebook. My first shepherd, all of our time on Facebook was the adventures of Linda Kay and Campbell. And everyone said that should have been put in a book. So someday that might happen. With uh, my second, it was Murphy, a yellow lab. It was also the adventures of Linda Kay and Murphy. But with Miss Kate, who I call Princess Kate, Ours aren't going to be adventures. They are going to be journeys, journeys of Linda Kay and Kate. And it's all a big thank you to everyone at Guiding Eyes. You have had my back since my first dog, and you will have my back until I can't work another dog 
So I want to thank everybody and God bless everyone. Thanks, Linda Kay. Hi everyone, I'm Shannon, and we are now going to present the graduates with their graduate certificates. So first we have Brandy and Idaho. <laughs> Lucas and Watson. <laughs> Linda and Watkins. You can't do Alan and Forbes. They are, there's There's people Anthony in Anthony and Quantum. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. It's been wonderful working with all of you. Uh, we'd like to thank you all for coming today. And this concludes our ceremony. Have a wonderful weekend.